In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight rectangular options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this particular slide you can create in any versions of PowerPoint. So let me just show you how this slide works. As you can see here, I have created this arrow design here with the shadow effect and I have added four options to the left and four options to the right of the arrow. And when I click the first option comes here with some text and then on my next click the option comes from the right. So let me just show you how it works. When I click you can see the first option comes with some shadow effect with the gradient fill here with the option number title and the detail text and on my next click onto the right side it will come the option 2 then the option 3 this is the option 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. I have created two slides, one with animation and another without animation. So depending on your requirement, you can choose which slide you need. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. And I have created a WhatsApp group so that you can get the latest updates on my videos. You can join with the help of this link and this is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and give a gradient fill to the slide and then go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the rectangle, select the second one, which is rectangle rounded corners. And depending on your requirement, how much the width and height you need, you can make it. Maybe I'm going to make this much size then shape outline you can make it white and shape fill you can give uh, for the time being white color and later on we can give the gradient fill and then i'm going to just say align center here now i want to uh, make a kind of an arrowhead there for that go to insert shapes select the triangle draw the triangle again in the center you can see here again shape outline make it no outline or make it white outline let me just select white outline and shape fill make it white so it looks something like this and just make sure everything is in center then once this is done i'm going to add some small rectangles where i'm going to add the options for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle on the left side depending on the requirement how many you need four or five so based on that you can decide that and then let me just put this here shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to right mouse click go to format shape here i'm going to give some gray color like this and then go to the effects under shadow go to presets and here scroll down you can see inner you can just select either inside top left or any of these options so let me just select this one so it looks something like this can you see here let me just zoom something like this so once this is done, I'm going to add the rectangle again, go to shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. Again, if you want, you can just hold the alt key so that you can get a perfect this one, depending on your size, then shape outline, you can make it no outline. Let me just zoom in. So it looks something like this. See, I'm not covering whole uh, the, the full part here. I'm just covering only uh, this one so that the edges are visible. Let me just make it up. And then I'm going to give a gradient fill for this. Select the gradient fill. And here, by default, there will be four because it is two here. I have used the background. So let me just make this as the linear. And here, I'm going to select one stop. Go to more colors maybe i'm going to use some orange color for that i'm going to select the dark orange on both the ends i'm going to select the dark orange and the direction i'm going to select this one which is the linear right and then this one i'm going to select the orange color you can see here let me just select the orange color and this side also i want to select the same orange color and again in the middle i want to add more lighter color so that we get a shiny look so i'm going to select this so you can see here you got a shiny look and then again depending on your requirement you can move this side also so whichever way you feel better you can just add that one so once this is done i'm going to add one more rectangle go to insert shapes 
you can select the rectangle again rectangle depending on your requirement how much the height and width you need maybe i'm going to make somewhat lesser than this you can see here shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to send this to back so for this also i'm going to select the gradient fill but i'm going to use only two colors so let me just go to the type select the linear and the direction i'm going to select maybe the linear right and here this side i'm going to give a lighter color you can see here some lighter color and this side i'm going to give some more darker color so it looks something like this so you can see here so this is one kind of a bend here and this is going from this particular hole and this is the rectangle so now once it is done you can add your text and you can just duplicate so let me just add some text here let me just zoom it here go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle just click it here hold the shift key reduce the size put it exactly here maybe i can give a little bit bigger size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select the lighter color here so it looks something like this and on this you can put the option number go to insert text box put option number you can see here let me just put 01 white font center align any font of your choice you can choose i'm going to select century gothic sorry it is not recognizing let me just check again century yeah century gothic make it bold increase the size and put it exactly in the center something like this and then you can go to insert text box you can add your title here again this also i'm going to make it a white font the same font century gothic make it bold reduce it and then you can add the detailed text here So you can add your detailed text, reduce the font size or make it white. Let it be reduce the size you can see here and then you can add your detailed text here, something like this. And if you want to do some shadow effect also, that also can be done. Go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, make it black increase the transparency level then go to the effects and under soft edges increase the size you can see here and then just send this to back so it gives you a shadow effect also here so like this i have just made one option now i'm just going to select all like this press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add one by one so how many you need three four depending on your requirement so this one you can see here I have added four options to the left then it's very easy depending on your requirement you can just go and change the color whichever color for example I'm going to use a, a dark teal with the light teal color so you can see here and this also I'm going to select the light teal color and then I can just select here go to more colors I'm going to select the, the dark teal color both the ends and then here i'm going to select the light color somewhat light color you can see here and in the middle i'm going to select the more lighter color so you got the shiny look like this so like this you can add the colors of your choice and you can just change this one maybe two or three let me just make it this two this could be three this could be four or you can do uh, add the option here and you can make it one two three four a zigzag way also so uh, left side we have added all the options now it's time to add to the right side so let me add the options to the right i'm just going to select the first one you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate it bring it here you can see here let me just remove this text only and this option i'm going to just move it on the top then i'm going to select this 
press control G to group it then go to format you can just rotate you can see here I can rotate flip horizontal and a little bit down I'm just going to add this one here you can see here something like this now it's very easy for me I'm just going to select these options and the rectangle I'm going to copy it here you can see here something like this and then the title and this one make sure it is align right and home go and make it this one also align right and then just put it here so on the right side also my option has been added so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d so this is my second option third option and fourth option again if you want you can just increase the size a little bit like this so you can see here i've added the option one two three four and or if you want you can just make it like this also this could be two and this could be three this is four and this is five you can see here this is six this is seven and sorry this is seventh and this is eighth option something like this so once this is done uh, if you want to add some more things also you can add it and now it's time to add some shadow effect at the bottom for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape you can see here draw the oval shape at the bottom something like this shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to set the gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to select the type as radial only and here the direction i have to make it from the center and in the center one i'm going to select the black color you can see here and the the second stop i'm going to select the color which is outside of the the slide area something like this and make it fully transparent and this also i'm going to make it somewhat transparent and then go to the effects you can see a soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this and if you want to reduce the transparency here again you can go back and you can reduce the transparency so that more darker color is there in the center and then go to format and send to back so you can see here we have just added the uh, shadow effect here now if you want to add some animation basic animations you can add the animation like stretch or wipe to do this uh, slide a better look